Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the mysteries and wonders that have captivated humanity for centuries. Today, we delve into the heart of Islamic tradition to uncover the secrets of the Black Stone. Have you ever pondered its origins or its significance to millions of pilgrims? Have you ever wondered where it comes from? Join us as we journey through history and faith, unraveling the story of this sacred relic. Black Stone of Mecca, Muslim object of veneration, built into the eastern wall of the Kaaba and probably dating from the pre-Islamic religion of the Arabs. It now consists of three large pieces and some fragments, surrounded by a stone ring and held together with a silver band. According to popular Islamic legend, the stone was given to Adam on his fall from paradise and was originally white but has become black by absorbing the sins of the thousands of pilgrims who have kissed and touched it. In 930 it was carried away by the fanatics of the Karmatian sect and held for ransom for about 20 years. Set in an oval silver frame in the southeastern corner of the Kaaba, the black stone is where a pilgrim's tawaf begins and ends. As they circle the Kaaba, pilgrims kiss, touch or point towards it, following the example of Prophet Muhammad. Origins of the Black Stone The Black Stone, set into the wall about 1.5 meters off the ground, is no longer whole but broken into several fragments of black rock. They are shiny, worn down by hundreds of years of being touched and kissed by pilgrims. The stone derives its importance and value in Islam to its origins as a stone from heaven. There are different stories about how it appeared and was placed in the wall of the Kaaba. The Black Stone Throughout History Why is the Black Stone not whole? It has had a tumultuous history, with many attempts at theft or removal. It was damaged during the Siege of Mecca in 683 AD, during which the Kaaba was badly burned by the Umayyad army. Kissing the Black Stone When circling the Kaaba as part of the Tawaf, you can try to touch the stone with your hand and kiss it. If you can't reach it, you can point at it or kiss something else which has touched the stone. As the cornerstone of the Kaaba, the black stone is the most venerated stone on the face of the earth. Muslims wish to kiss it because the Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, did so. However, keep in mind that the black stone is simply a stone. It is symbolic like a country's flag is symbolic, something to respect and take pride in. Kissing it is not an obligation but a demonstration of love, just as you would kiss one of your children. As the second caliphate of the Muslims, Umar bin al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, is quoted as saying, I know that you are a stone, you do not cause benefit or harm, and if it were not that I had seen Allah's messenger, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, kiss you, I would never have kissed you. As we conclude our journey with the black stone, one can't help but wonder about the countless stories it holds within its fragmented surface. What thoughts cross your mind as you imagine the hands and lips that have reverently touched this celestial stone? Share your reflections in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. Remember to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more intriguing tales and insights. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning the wonders of our world.